Algebra and functions is the second strand under math. And under algebra and functions, it is separated into two substrands. The first one is sorting and classifying objects. And the second one is identifying patterns. When you give opportunities for children to sort and classify, make sure that you teach them about the different attributes of the objects. So for example, the child can sort by the size of the objects, the color, the shape, or maybe by even different types. Um, for example, say you have a bunch of little plastic dinosaurs and this was something that was really popular when I was teaching one cli um, preschool class was that if they were different colors. So first I had them sort by color and then I said, okay, what's another way to sort? Then they sorted it by size. Or then I said, what's another way that you can sort these dinosaurs? And some children started separating them into different piles that I wasn't sure what they were doing. So I asked them, so tell me about the piles that you are sorting by. And they would say, well, these are the mean dinosaurs because they have big teeth and they're scary looking. And these are the ones that fly or they're friendlier, like the bronchosaurus that doesn't have big teeth or the pterodactyl that flies. And so just give them different ways to sort the objects and then have them explain it to you. Identifying patterns is a second substrand under algebra and function. So first, what is a pattern? A pattern is a repeated arrangement of things such as numbers or objects or events or um, even musical elements. Examples of patterns can be done with objects or designs on a picture, through movement. Maybe you can have the child either predict or repeat a pattern that they see. So even through clapping, you can just make a pattern with clapping and ask them what comes next. So what comes next? And then hopefully they do this, the second um, clap. So you can do patterns definitely with um, movement, with sounds. So the clapping can also serve as an example for a pattern of sounds. And then through rhymes and through stories. Sometimes stories have a pattern too, the how the story is going and especially the simple stories, there's a pattern in there. And then patterns can also be found in the outdoor environment. Through sorting and classifying or even with um, identifying patterns, the child will learn how to make predictions and also to write rules for the way they are classifying or sorting or doing patterns. They can tell you what is this pattern, what comes after this, uh, the triangle. And so they're, they can tell you rules of the patterning sequence that they see or tell you the rules of classifying or sorting.